It's gonna take me out though, cause I look a mess. Is that okay? <laughs> Got you. One, two, three. And then I'll just zoom in like that. All right, like that. Cool. Yep. 30, yeah, I have to get the deal done. So thank you guys. Appreciate you guys for all the love. You guys always hook it up. What's up guys, my name's Jay. Um, I've been here since, uh, I wanna say maybe 8 a.m. I have my breakfast here and everything. I saw that they posted that they had some Travis's for a very good price. So I've been waiting. Finally, they opened up real early at nine. So thank you guys once again. Um, come mess with Holy Ground, guys. Uh, legit sneakers, good prices, good people. Um, they'll take good care of you. And once again, thank you guys for the deals. Sheesh. What's up? Good morning, guys. We just picked up Slash 13. You know, here you know. From our Slash 13 plug, if you know, you know. We already sold a 10 and a half. Someone was waiting outside our shop. Since what time? What time did he say? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Funny, dude. So, don't sleep. He went poop. We got a lot of stuff to do. There's like, how many pairs did we buy yesterday? Probably like 40 pairs yesterday, but like 40 pairs is like straight heat. Nothing but heat. You see like nothing but good stuff coming through. Show them the next one. Show them the next one. Right. You think that's good? We got cause fours, black pair, like a lot of good stuff. Show them the case. Show them the case. <laughs> yeah, show them the case, man. Our buyer lined up for him. He said he's gonna take all three. I think they might be his sizes, so he like does restorations and stuff to so you can fix them up, get them uh, wearable because the pairs right now aren't wearable. But it's just like. When do you ever see like all three together, especially? So it's it's pretty cool to have in store. I've never even like been able to like look at them up close and actually check them out. So it's great to have in store. More heat. We needed these. What are those? We needed a restock on Yeezy Slats. Some good sizes. Ladies, ladies, come get your come get your slides. You need them for the rest of the summer if you're going out. You need the easy slides, or the croc slides, or the, the claws is what people are calling them. I like these, come pick them up. My name is Jocelyn, and I can buy a lot of shoes. <laughs> I'm coming from Taiwan. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one is my favorite oh, one. I got the pink. What's up, man? My name is Rob. Came in from uh, Hacienda Heights to uh, trade in some pairs for these uh, these four shoes. Come check them out. Do you have prices in mind? No, I don't. Nothing really. No. It's a little different without the box. Yeah. And without a box, I'd probably just be. Like two thirty. This one we usually sell like used Yeezys like around like oh, yeah. one eighty. So I think I'll just be out one eighty. Two forty cash or yeah, like two forty. What's your name again? Robert. Robert. I'll probably just come up like an extra. Like, like, hey, how you? How you guys doing? My name is Snap Souls on Instagram. I'm a reseller. I came in the. Drop a seven piece off that holy ground. You know, they're always blessing the kid. You know the vibes. Sheesh. Yeah, Sersky. Crazy. That's sweet. But yeah, they're pretty. The uppers aren't in bad shape. It's just the midsoles and the outsoles. But. Oh, yeah. These are actually not bad. Oh man, someone used super glue on it. Yeah, they're, I think they like treated like the spots like a little bit. I don't know. These ones, these ones are okay. This one's good. This one has no problems. Like I could fix this one. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but he was like saving it for him. Oh. And then he was like, oh, go up I, to my buddy's shop. It's just down the street from where I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's got three pairs and I was like, I didn't even think about it, and I saw it, and I was like, I was like holy crap. Yeah, because... I was like, you know what? Am I broke? Not today. <laughs> I'm not broke today. Yeah, especially if you fix them up, I'm sure they'd be worth, like... I mean, that's We estimated, like, fixed up, restored, and everything, probably worth about two grand each. That's... I was thinking, like... Maybe more. Like, like 18, actually. Yeah. And, uh, I could go grab the, the boxes and then the other pair, so you could check those out, too. Cool. Um... 
think I offered 28. I was gonna probably drop it just a tiny bit, just get the super glue, but maybe like 100 bucks or something. I probably couldn't. We've had like four offers already on the blinks just alone. Really? Yeah, that's like the most popular one, so. I'm just thinking like, like I'm not trying to like, you know, lower the value or something. Yeah, I get you. It's just like, I don't know how I'm gonna fix this, but all the rest of them, these ones? Yeah, easy. What do you mean easy? Because they're technically not even like our pairs, so they're just on consignment, so we're selling them for somebody. So after you already offered like take all three for 28, I had to ask him permission oh. for it. And so he was like, yeah, like if he takes all three, I'll just do 28. But I don't think he was kind of Okay, going on I didn't know that's how consignment. We don't really do consignment. Or that was like just different, right? Yeah, we normally we're just buy, sell, trade, but um, for pairs like this, I was like, well, they're not really wearable. I'd rather just put them on consignment if he was open to it. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. I don't have to pull out a lot of cash, but I had to go to my bank for it. Yeah, that's you know, it's really cool to have these in the shop. Um, obviously, can't really wear them like that, but uh, I mean, like I said, you don't really see this shoe that often, especially in the set. So it's really cool, and it's cool that it's going to someone who's going to restore them, maybe wear them, maybe sell them, but you know, bring the shoes back to life. It's kind of, it's a rare thing to see. So at least I know it's, you know, we don't really do consignment, but our consigner's happy, we're happy, he's happy. It's all that matters, right? Is it the all white one? Mm -hmm. I got all three. Insane. Hi, my name is Nick Bennett, and you may know me as Vintage Heat on TikTok or Instagram. Um, I'm from Metro Atlanta, so I'm from Georgia, and I'm out here in California. I just finished myself uh, my contract in the military, so, but I came here because I, I found these Yeezys, you know, Chris from Heart and Souls uh, told me to come up here, and so here I am. I'm gonna do a soul swap on them and post videos. So, yeah. Really appreciate you having me come in. Can't believe I dropped three grand on shoes. It's not the most I've ever paid, honestly. But for, for easy ones, yeah, I had to. It's like putting on someone else's stinky shoes all of a sudden. Yeah. Sebastian and I just bought some shadow backboards. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. My name's Kingsley. I'm a monthly customer here, and I got my first ever <laughs> pair of Supreme Dunks, size 12. And yeah. Uh, I'm Joshua. I've been looking for the Brad Force. Came here and got them. Uh, I'm Cameron. I got the Jordan One uh, Greens. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> yeah, right. thank you, Holy Ground. Thank Shout you. out to you. Can I show it? Yeah, we'll show it in, in three, two, one. Oh, let's go. <laughs> See, you just wanted $10. I know, you just want me 10 bucks. I stay losing. So, like, we've been throwing some deals lately too, so besides deals of the day, we've also just been throwing deals. Like, we're just trying to get some good shoes at some good pricing. And so like, we got some, uh, it's nothing too great. Benji bought this one. Bordeaux ones, uh, we put them up for 80 bucks, used. Let's see what else do we have here. A pair of Marina ones used going up for 80 bucks as well. Jordan 1 Lowe's going up for 80 bucks also. Core Purple 2.0s going up for 160. We have some brand new Rookie of the Year ones. Like you don't really see DS pairs that much. Let's see what else do we got here. Patent breads. We got some used mochas going up for 300 size 12. So. And that's just our Jordan 1 pile. Also, check this out. They laid it out already so nicely. Check out our Holy Ground socks. We do have black, blue, and white. Uh, we have them all separately at $10 each, or you can buy a three pack for $27. So save a little bit of money, get all three colorways, Benji out, right? Yes, sir. I do want to break down my fit real quick, break it down. So uh, I do have the pistachio dunks right here. You know, this, should, this this fit should really go with some Holy Ground socks. I should be wearing my Holy Ground socks right now. Um, we do have the Holy Ground shorts. Boom. Everyday comfort. And then today I am wearing my friend's brand, Fifth. 
uh, go ahead check him out fifth designs uh, it's his first drop he's got some other good ones he showed me some of the other designs pretty fire so if you guys like something like this make sure to follow him check him out he's a super nice guy christian brand all that kind of good stuff so that's my fit for today well starting from the toe i got my e700 analogs this is one of the benefits of working at holy ground right you know if you were to buy this at any other store or retail shop or even adidas you'd probably have to pay retail with 300 dollars guess how much i paid for this one a benjamin I paid a Benjamin for this. Um, the shorts, I got some essential shorts, nothing too crazy, and t-shirt, the holy round t-shirt, little hat. Alright guys, we're about to head up to Dope Kicks, a little field trip for me, you know. About to see what they got, you know, if they have any good stuff, maybe catch them out, you know. Right, let's go. I have to stay here as a responsible one. They get to have fun, they get to have a field trip, I have to stay here. Help out customers, so come say what's up. Andrew and Benji, have a good time at Dope Kicks. Buy our socks. <laughs> All right, we're here to see what they got. Oh, it looks like they got a lot of toddler shoes. Weirdly enough, toddler shoes have been popping for us, but we'll see if they'll also turn into a more YouTube-friendly uh, music so we don't get copyrighted. Selling some decent amount of stuff, I guess. We're only been selling this stuff, though. PK stuff? Mm -hmm. You guys can play by our PK stuff. I know you have a lot of them over there. These are DS2? Yeah. Eight. 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 Maybe like two. Cause I think I paid one seventy. Okay. Um, like that's what payout is. Yeah. Two one seventy. So twenty three under asking. You know. That's cool. I can do that. Would you guys have the price that? Uh, Paisley. So classic. Uh, two seventy. That's a low ball. You know. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but probably like do like two. That's fine. Yeah, two. Seven one or seven. Seven one. 180 on those? It's 20 under ass. That's fine. Okay. That's a good shoe. I think the most I could do is like 280. Right, flip a coin. 280, 290. <laughs> I feel like I probably just want to get a 280. Yeah, it's, for the, it's for the YouTube, you know? Flip a coin. We still have a coin for this. <laughs> Spice it up a little bit. <laughs> How about we'll go $10 down for what you asked for and or our price? 270 or 300 Or 290 or what would you say? 290 yeah. or 270 I'm down. Okay. We're going to flip the coin for the at most. Yep. 270 if Andrew gets it, 290 if we get it. So we'll go ahead and call in the air. All details, I guess. Oh, that's a good one. You know what though, this is just payback because I think the last few times we we've always, watched, yeah, you always I, I win. <laughs> it has a box too, right? Yeah. Just, just a gift, right? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, look at the sky. Oh, that's not that bad. Ooh, 60 bucks. What's <laughs> up? It's up to you, Chris. You can get more on whatnot? 175. Right? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said I wanted four, and you guys were at like 460. Yeah, you know, I don't really like Travis Scott like that, so just blew him up. Okay, what up, guys? It's Chris from Dope Kicks. You guys have seen me on the videos before. Uh, we're gonna do a little fit, fit check right here with Benji. Um, undefeated slides, dingy polo socks, it's okay though. Um, Nike SB shorts, um, undefeated tee, undefeated bucket, sponsor me undefeated, that's all I wear. <laughs> Yo, so Should I put on those Brazils real quick? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> huh? Okay. Fit check, uh, born and raised tee, Stussy shorts, got the. Uh, 
MCM slides. Uh, new era for you? Yeah. Can you make it sound a little bit? It's the, it's the uh, smoker's, pack. smoker's pack. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what it's called. That's why. All right, so we're playing rock paper scissors because they got rid of their quarter. <laughs> so we're trying to take the Brazil dunks right here. So uh, we wanted 270, and then they said 280. So we're gonna go ahead, Rochambeau. Uh, best two out of three. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Alright. All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Alright, alright. I thought you guys were gonna sock each other. Alright. Three, two, one. No! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> okay, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Alright guys, so we do have a nice unboxing that I do want to show you. We don't normally do too many unboxings, but we wanted to show you because, well, take a guess. It's Yeezy Day. What out of the Yeezy Day would I want to show you guys? So, ooh. Yeezy 350. Which 350 is it? Well, if you see, there's no V2 on the box. It just says Yeezy 350. So, uh, I got lucky. I hit on the turtle dove, so let's go ahead and unbox it. Alright, so here you go. I've had a couple of turtle doves in the past, and this honestly looks pretty dang close. Uh, even back in the day, I remember like we were trying to like figure out how to authenticate turtle doves, and it was crazy. You would have to like count the stitching, how many stitchings were in here and how much were in the back. Is there like the, can you see like the number eight? Like you can see it right here, there's two circles. It's like, oh, that's the number eight. How does the stitching go for this? How does the boost feel? All that kind of stuff. So it's just, yeah, brings you back. I remember I would buy these for, what's going on dude? I remember I would buy these for like, like 900 bucks used. Cause like when you wear this, it all starts to like rub off. At least the way that they used to make it. And then I would buy them at 900, repaint them, and then sell them for about 1100. So uh, pretty much, and they would still sell. Like I flipped so many turtle doves back in the day, but it's pretty cool. They do look like they put a little bit more boost in them maybe. Um, but yeah, so here's the turtle doves. What do you guys think? Is this shoe gonna go up in value? Right now it's like sitting like right around like the four or $500 range. And that's with everyone getting most of their pairs today, so. I don't know, are these still better than the V2s? I think so. But now this also opens up so many different questions too. Like, are they gonna do the moon rocks? Are they gonna do the tans, powdered blacks? Are they gonna come out with new colorways? I don't know. Is the V1 just for the turtle doves or should they redo other ones? Okay, from Stockton. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so. I think you gave me prices too. Give you prices on all yeah, the cards? Yeah. How was the drive? Uh, it was alright. We got here yesterday. I was gonna try to make it over here, but oh, okay. we got here like at five, and I go, oh, it's gonna be too late by the time we get Cause we're over in Glendale right now. Yeah, no, never mind. I'll let him go. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of holding those long term, but I'm like, it's not even my size. Though. And when they when they came out, I was like, trying to get my size, and I said, oh, that's next the only one, eight and a half. So, yeah. I think the only one that. I think it might have shifted in price with the starfish. Uh -huh. uh, probably want to be like 20 under what I said. I said 150, I'd probably want to be at 130. Yeah. 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 Did you know how much you wanted for the club tips? Ah. Uh, so the guy who was just here before you would text me. Alright, for sure. Um, I think for now, my energy has on the 11s, it's a little bit more tough than the top of the colors, mm -hmm. especially like the women's size here. Um, for this pair, I'm just checking what market it is at. Did you have like any ballpark price in that? Maybe? 250 Okay, for sure. So for that too, so I'll probably offer like 150 store credit. 150 store credit. So I gave, um, I got store credit over here, and he's picking up one of the... Uh, I'll check it out. Alright, how you going, man? Thank you. 
right. So yeah, so the guy came in. He got a quote from another store, and so he just asked. But he would have to ship it out. So he just asked, hey, like, can I? He wanted to see what we would offer him before shipping out. Because honestly, shipping out, like, if you go to the post office, ship out these six pairs of shoes and one box. You have to pay for the box, which is like ten bucks. And then you're gonna have to pay for the actual shipping of it, which it was up to Nor NorCal, so that'd probably be like something this big and heavy. They'd probably charge you like around like 40, 50 bucks or something like that. So he's gonna spend 60 bucks, which would give him $300 back in his pocket after selling everything. Um, but I offered him a little bit more, so I gave him 380, and he's not gonna have to ship anything, deal with the hassle of waiting in that line, maybe losing the package. But yeah, so we took the SB barfs in no box they're pretty used but um we got them for 100 we'll probably sell them for maybe like around like 160 200 they still go for a lot but we'll see uh we also got the tweeds um valley or i would say maybe like got them for around 120 i'd say these like right around 100 we probably sell these for around like 160. Um, we did get like some used concord 11s uh, used pairs of these don't really go for too much. Uh, it's just, you know, it is what it is. So I think we got them for right around like 40, 50 bucks. Probably sell them for maybe like 80. Um, so old school Jordan 3 Cool Grays. Uh, they're beads. Not really sure if it'll be wearable, but we got them for pretty much 10 bucks. We'll sell them for like 20 bucks. Maybe some collector or some restorer will want them and make them worth something. And then lastly, we did get a pair of the Jordan 11 Columbia's. I would take them out, but it's a little too much work. Um, got them for 100, we'll probably put them up for like 140. They were kind of used, they had like some scuffs here and there, but I still think for 140 for a Jordan 11, it's not a bad deal. So, um, more unique pairs, but still trying to toss them up for a good deal. So, if you guys are interested, make sure to check out the website. Yeah. Yeah, the bread pours too. Uh, if we do, they should be up there. Do you know how much you're looking for on the? Those are not gonna get really low, so whatever. I don't know, it just depends how much you can offer. Might keep those. Uh, yeah, it'd be kind of low on them. We can. Cause I probably. Sell them for like right around a hundred. So I probably want to be like like seventy store credit. Okay. What about those two? Uh, it'd probably be like right around one ninety on this one. Uh, this one I probably want to sell for around like one fifty. So it'd be like right around like a hundred bucks on it. It's gonna be at like three. <laughs> I'll do some cash and I'll do less hard. Okay. Yeah. So my name is Max and I came here to buy some shoes. What shoes did you buy today? Uh, Jordans. Jordans, all right, dope, dope. My name is Andrew Curry and I um, came to buy some uh, uh, Retro Force lining. <laughs> these. Yep. Dope. Yeah, my favorite shoes. But yeah, I wanted these for a long time. Well, I'm Alfred of Hudson. I'm from Fontana. And I got uh, some Yeezy Slice today, some black Yeezy Slice. And I'm Brian Mendoza, um, I'm from Rialto, and I got some, some Oreos, and I got some easy slots. Go, go. Off-white LV Air Forces. But is it sus, though? <laughs> it has no box. So yeah. it has, like, all the LV print? That's... Que fancy. <laughs> Should I un them? <laughs> oh, dang! Now you have to go back here. Caught it. The only thing is, like, I feel like this toe box would just crease like nasty. Shoot, shoot, uh, when the crease protector. Well, so, like, wh yeah, so, like, what happened to the box again? So, the cus the guy that hit on him is mm -hmm. from a good company. And so, he doesn't want to give him the box, he just wants to sell him the shoes. That's weird. I mean, the box is probably worth some good money, though. Because it's an LV it. luggage yeah, bag, yeah, you like, know? I so. get it. But it's just like. Why wouldn't you just do the whole thing? I wouldn't buy. I, I, if someone told me that, like, I wouldn't buy the shoe. Without the box. But I mean, would you buy a shoe for two thousand dollars cheaper than what it's going for? I don't know. That's Just because I know it's gonna be hard to move. Yeah. Like thoughts? Which so one? Thoughts? The one that you use legit Would check? You I don't really well, feel I, like that works. That you use good. check check? So you told me to use legit. <laughs> oh what's up, George? Oh, sorry, 
it is a legit app. It's like a $7,000 shoe right here. Oh man. Crazy. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Like, uh, what language is this? French? French. It's Chinese. <laughs> Yeah, how do you say, how do you say, how would you pronounce it with your Chinese accent? Lashe, lashe, eh? Oh, yeah, you speak Chinese? Chinese? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pax, is it legit? <laughs> it's like, no. uh, looking a little, uh... So last sale is 776. 877. 68. Technically, I guess, yeah, they're not a bad price. Yeah, 65. Cause what's after taxing the fees, it's probably gonna be close to like, cause what's asking you right now? 71. So it would probably be like... Over 8,000 for sure, right? Well, after taxes on like, $7,000, that's 7.75%, it's almost a thousand almost, right? Mm -hmm. So we do have an unboxing. We don't really do too many unboxings, but we, you know, kind of want to just promote that. We do trades and we do, just buy online as well. So if you guys are looking to sell, you know, give us a nice little note about uh, what the deal is. So, all right, so first shoe out the box. See, nice and bubble wrap. Uh, we do have a pair of Mystic Navy ones. Uh, this shoe is kind of nice. Uh, it does okay in store, nothing too crazy. But it's sad that it's still going for retail. Definitely think it'll be worth more in the future. But so we got that. And then let me open up this big one. I think he's trading a couple pairs just for like two of our heaters. A couple of, I wouldn't call them bricks, but you know, more like general release type of shoes. So, so we did end up taking two Mystic Navies and eight and a half. I said, yeah, it's cool, man. Like, they just hit that restock. All the pairs came in yesterday. We did post them up on our Instagram, which if you guys don't follow it, make sure to follow it. We post, that's where we post first. So if you guys need to see like, oh, we got any deals, it's usually gonna be up on there. But Tom Sachs, I've seen a lot of people like this shoe. A lot of people highly recommend it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if it sells. Because for me, it's not a shoe for me. I tried it on and it just, uh, it just doesn't give it to me, you know? Like, I'd rather wear like, you know, some new balances. You know, I got, got my voice Sebastian on some new balances. So, and then we have a size eight, but it's an eight woman. Some starfishes. So, oh, he originally bought this from us. Look, that's our old tag. 180. For 180. Market hasn't really jumped up since then. Next shoe was brand new pair of Jordan 11 bread, size 9. Alright, so another brand new pair, size 9. We do have the Red Thunders. Hey, dude, this shoe has been jumping up. I think it's like at 350, 360, just randomly. Those and this next shoe. Got some military black right here. This shoe has also been jumping up. Like they were sitting, like, I mean, they were always doing good, right? Like they were, they were at three and then they jumped up to, or and then they were like three, 330 and then the restock hit and then they went down to like 270, 280 and then now they're at like 350. Like, it's crazy, but clean shoe. Definitely a clean shoe. <laughs> And then lastly, we did get a brand new pair of the Jordan 4 Fire Red. So we picked all of this stuff up. We got one, or no, that's a different box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs right here. And he's trading for, like I said, the Fragment Lows, the Travis's in a size eight. And he also is taking a brand new pair of Jordan 3 UNC's in a nine and a half. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this trade. He definitely got one fire heater and one really cool shoe. And then we got a lot of good general release shoes right here. So um, this is good stuff for the shop. But like I said, if you guys ever want to hit us up, we have Instagram and you can also DM us or you could email us at shopholyground at gmail.com. If you guys want to do that, please come with like your the, the name of the shoe, the condition of the shoe, the size of the shoe, and your asking price. And also let us know if you're looking for store credit, 
uh, or if you're just looking for a cash out, we can always pay you through uh, like Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, stuff like that, cash up if you guys want. All right, guys, so it's definitely the end of the episode right here. Sorry for another abrupt ending. It's been really busy at the shop, like I said right before with the unboxing, like, like the market's kind of going back up and that's kind of like brought in a lot more customers. Back to school is crazy. Thank you for everyone who shopped with us. Shop with us online too, shopholyground.com. Uh, you could always check that out, but you know, and we've been trying to throw deals, trying to throw some good stuff. So we've been really busy at the shop. It's kind of hard to pick up the camera. We're trying to hop back on the train, trying to get back to producing more content. We got a lot of different stuff in the books. Like we got uh, more merch coming out. We got um, just, just a lot of different things kind of in the mix. So uh, stay tuned for all that, but we're gonna go ahead, keep you guys updated with all that stuff. Make sure to check out our socials. Benji started doing TikToks. So if you guys wanna check out our TikTok, uh, with all that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. But like I said, thank you guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the love and support. But we're going to push out more stuff for you guys.